Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are finally doing my summer shop my stash. I am very late to this because summer already started. But yeah, I'm ready to switch things up. So we're doing this in a different like angle than usual because I don't keep my shop my stash in like that you know, Tupperware thing anymore. <laughs> so it's on my desk now. So I hope this is going to work out. I'll have to like reach over and yeah, we'll just go with it. This is going to be a long video <laughs> because um, I usually go over all the products that were in my previous Shop My Stash, give you some little reviews on them. Then I use my Tiny Decisions app to randomly choose new products to bring in and then I thought what I would do this time is bring you along like in my sections and pick things manually. I didn't do that last time. I only did the random picks but I think I want to do that because I have a lot of summer products that I want to get use out of before like summer ends. I just feel like summer is way too fast so yeah anyway let me stop rambling so this was my shop my stash box for spring um, and this little cup with lip products is included and I think that's it yeah so the first thing here is one of my favorites, the Iconic London Illuminator. This is the universal shade. It looks really dark in the component bottle, whatever, but it's really nice on the face and I love this. I don't always feel like reaching for a liquid highlighter, but when I do, like this one, I feel like always looks good. So I'm gonna put that back in my collection. Um, I had another liquid highlighter in this shop my stash and honestly I thought at first that I might declutter this because I like the other one so much but this one is really good too <laughs> this is the grande glow plumping liquid highlighter it's in um this kind of packaging so it's more like a cream highlighter I guess the Iconic London one is in a dropper, so it's really like a liquid. So this one, it's a little finicky. Like, sometimes I feel like I'm not applying it properly. I don't know, because if I try to swipe it on with the applicator, I feel like I can't blend it out the way I want to. So, yeah, it's a little bit of a learning curve, but it looks really nice once it's applied. So I think I'm going to keep this one. Too. <laughs> uh, this is the shade French Pearl, by the way. I also had, I guess I'm going in categories, I had a powder highlighter from Tarte. And this one I wasn't sure about at first either. And I'm still not really sure about it. It's this um, colorful highlighter from the, what was this collection called? Like Make Believe in Yourself or something. It's the Spellbound Glow Rainbow Highlighter. Um, I really like the shade of this when you swirl it all together. I'll try and swatch this. But it's so dry. And honestly, I feel like maybe it is expired because it's really old, but it still smells good. I just feel like it's like a bit dry on my skin. But I don't, I don't know if I want to declutter it just yet. I guess I'll keep it around for now. Although this would have been a good highlighter to have in the summer <laughs> because it's like a festival collection. So maybe, maybe what I should do because I'm on the fence about this, I should keep it in another round and see if I really like it. And if not, then I'll you know, pass it on to somebody. So yeah, let me keep that in for now. And that was all the highlighters I was working on. So for bronzer, I had my Wet n Wild Cushion 
no, Mega Cushion Contour. But I use this as a bronzer because it's very warm for a contour shade. It looks like this, so I would just dab my sponge or brush directly in here and it's super easy to use. I really like this product, so I'm keeping this, but I'll put it back in my collection. Was that the only bronzer? Oh, right, because in my deck of panning, I was working on the Kaja Bento, the cream bronzer in that trio, so I was only using those two. So for blush, I had this Laura Geller uh, Baked Blush and Brighten in Tropic Hues. I don't think this is my favorite blush that I own, but I did really like it. So I'm going to keep that around too. I just feel like because it's like a swirled product, every time I used it, it looked a bit different. So yeah, but I didn't not like it so I'm gonna keep that around but put back in my collection the other blush I was working on was the rose ink lip and cheek color in azalea this was a really pretty blush to have around for spring um, this is another one I'm not sure how I feel about it though I feel like this doesn't last on me like it looks really nice at first but Honestly, like 10, 20 minutes later, I feel like I don't even see it on my face. So I would have to add like a powder blush on top, but then it's like, this is a pretty expensive product to have to like put something else on top of it. <laughs> I don't know. And I'm still trying to figure out the way I like to apply it the best, like with a sponge or a brush. I don't know. I'm gonna put this back in my collection. It's also not a favorite. Uh, for primer, I had this um, Touch and Soul Pretty Filter Glassy Skin Balm. I really like this product. It does give like a really glowy, glassy skin look. So I'm going to keep that around. I have used quite a bit of it, it seems. So, yeah. But I'm going to put that away because I know that I like it. Oh, I had these lashes from Lashaholic. The style is Instaglam. So I did use these and I really liked them. They were really like natural, I guess you'd say. I mean, you could tell I was wearing <laughs> lashes, but they weren't like super crazy voluminous and like too black, you know? So I did really like these, but I'm gonna put them back because I don't wear lashes very often. And if I roll another pair, then I'll try something else. But I liked these. Then I had um, pulled in this ColourPop Animal Crossing eyeshadow palette, La Belle of the Ball. It looks like this. I was really happy that I pulled this in because it's very Easter in my opinion. And I actually did wear this when I went to an Easter brunch. And I really love this palette. I also used this in my review video of the Animal Crossing collection and I loved it then too. So I'm going to put that away, but I really like this. Uh, I guess we'll just stick to the rest of this, but I have other eyeshadow palettes to show you. But this is always going to stay here. <laughs> Seems like forever. The Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Aqua Sealer. Because as you can tell, I'm almost done it and I feel like, I don't know, I should really be done this by now, but it's still kicking. So I'm going to keep this in because I'm trying to use it up. Um, then I had the L'Oreal True Match Nude Hyaluronic Tinted Serum. I only used this twice because I was working on a Physician's Formula BB Cream in my deck of panning and I was really focused on trying to use it up. <laughs> Spoiler alert, I still haven't. So I only got to use this twice, but I think I really like this. So far, I've only used it with my Drunk Elephant Umbra Tint underneath. So I don't know if it's just that I love the combination of those two. I'll have to try this on its own, but I did really like it. It almost has like a blurring effect. I feel like this isn't focusing. 
It kind of reminds me of the Fenty skin, what was that called? <laughs> I don't know, blurring skin tint? I, I don't know, I could be totally wrong. But I think I know. I think you know what I'm talking about. But it kind of reminds me of that. Um, but I think I'll put this away because I have to rotate among my stuff. And I do know that I like this, so. You actually will probably see this in a video because I want to do a drugstore video and I want to use that. This Makeup Forever Powder Foundation. I didn't use it <laughs> and I keep keeping this around and I mean to use it but I never like feel like reaching for a powder foundation I don't know what it is and I do have two of these this is the lighter shade well like the more um like pink tone one in R220 it looks like this I guess I'm putting it back because if anything, if I do pull this in again, I should pull in the deeper one for summer. So that's what's gonna happen. I do like that product. I just feel like I never think about reaching for a powder foundation because my skin is so dry. Anyway, um, this is my little cup of like eye products so I was working on the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin as you can see it looks like I've used a lot of this but I only use this for spot concealing so I think the real thing was that there's like a big air bubble in this product and because it's like a giant doe foot and it's so messy it's not gonna focus, but it looks like this. Um, yeah, I think it just keeps pushing the product out and it's a disaster, but I actually really like this formula for my face at least. I don't like it under my eyes, but I do use it as a spot concealer, even when it's not in the Shop My Stash. So I'll probably continue using this, but I'm gonna take it out of my Shop My Stash because I wanna try to rotate through my concealers. Um, I have the shade 2.3, if you're wondering. Then I had this um, L'Oreal Voluminous, Voluminous Lash Paradise Liquid Eyeliner. So the shade of this is actually the shade of the packaging. It's like a rose gold, but a very like light rose gold. And I honestly thought that this was gonna be dried out, but it's still nice and um, wet. <laughs> and I did really like using this. I used it on my like inner corner, but on the lower lash line, and it gave like a really nice pop and of like brightness. So I'm gonna keep this around too, um, but it can go back in my collection. Then I had this MAC eyebrow pencil. I really like this also. It's in the shade Spiked. It's a bit dark for me, but I can make it work because it's a very like dry and waxy pencil. So it's easy to not go overboard. And it's like a tiny, one of those like micro pencils like this. So I'm gonna keep this around too. I feel like it is getting quite dry, but for a brow pencil, you kind of want it to be a little dry, I think. So I'm gonna put that back. For setting spray, I had this Complex Culture Filter Out Daily Blue Light Defense Mist. So I did like this. I only used a bit of it, as you can see. It was brand new when I rolled it in, but um, I was using it as like a finishing spray because it's a daily blue light defense mist. I thought it should be like the last layer of product on. So sometimes I was putting this on top of like another setting spray. So I don't really know like how this product works on its own and like if the blue light filter whatever is even a thing. But I like the formula of this. I feel like it did add 
some kind of dewiness also. So I'm gonna put that away. So that was it for this. I'm just gonna keep my concealer. But then I had this cup of lip products. This one is in my deck of panning, so I'm gonna keep it in this cup, I guess. It's a mini Tarte Splash, Color Splash lipstick in the shade Rum Punch. It looks like this. I only have a use goal on this one. It's like, I have to use it 10 times and I've already used it like four or five times. So that's gonna be rolled out soon. But I really like this. It's very light. I have to use it with a lip liner or put a gloss on top to make it like not as milky nude. But I really like this formula. Oops. Um, this was my Sailor Moon Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade Sailor Moon. I do like this gloss. I like the shade and the formula, but I don't really like the packaging. Well, not the packaging. The applicator because it's like a brush tip, but it just gets all goopy full of product and then you apply like a lot at a time. So I don't love that as much, but I like this gloss. Now that I think about it, I do re remember it feeling like a little gritty. Like you could feel the glitter in it, but maybe my lips were really dry. That's possible. <laughs> so I have another one of these, like another glossy lip from the Sailor Moon collection. So I'll put this one back and if I happen to roll in the other one, that will be fine. But I don't need to keep this for another round. This is my Rare Beauty Dewy Lip Balm in the shade Thankful. So, ugh, yeah. The packaging on this broke and it's getting annoying because if you can see, like, it got smushed in the cap there. But if I roll it up, I can't roll it back down. And then I have to like push it with my finger. So that's not fun. <laughs> but I like the shade of this. It's a bit deep. And by the way, I don't feel like these are lip balms. They are lipsticks. And I just saw that Rare Beauty is coming out with lipsticks in this same packaging. So I hope that they fixed it because it's not very good. <laughs> uh, but I am probably gonna buy one of those lipsticks because I have to try everything from Rare Beauty apparently. But yeah, that's the shade Thankful. I'm gonna put it back. This was my Bite Beauty Multi Stick in Macaroon. It looks like this. Um, I only used this on my lips and I did like it. That's the shade. It was a nice spring, well, focus. It was a nice spring shade, um, but you're meant to be able to use these on the cheeks and the eyes. I just didn't get a chance to do so. But yeah, I'm gonna put that back because I have so many lip products to rotate through. Same with this Too Faced Melted Matte in, in the shade Sellout. Uh, this is a mini. I did wear this once or twice and I liked it. And I mentioned in a video that I wasn't sure if I would like the Too Faced formula anymore uh, for the liquid lipsticks, but I do actually. And I when I wore this, I wore it with my Bite Beauty like lip primer. And that worked out really well. So maybe it's just that I used it with a primer and that's why I liked it. <laughs> but yeah, I like the shade also. And I used that with this Bite Beauty lip pencil in the shade 64 or 064. I don't know, they don't make these anymore, but it's like a nice pink lip liner. It's actually very bright, that's it there. So it made this like even more like a brighter pink, but it looked nice. So I'm gonna keep this around too. That's actually a nice color like all over the lips I feel. So yeah, but I have like five of these. 
by Beauty Lip Pencils. So, yeah. Is that it? Well, there's also the stuff in my everyday makeup drawer, which I will show you. <laughs> but I think it's all going to stay because they're all stuff that are in projects, I think. Let's look. So this is my everyday makeup drawer. Um, yeah, I don't think anything here is coming out because um, this is the lip balm that I'm trying to use up from Pure Lease. This is my e.l.f. lip scrub that I reach for whenever like my lips are like flaky and I have to <laughs> smooth them. This is the Bite Beauty lip primer I was talking about, so I'm going to keep that in for using with liquid lipsticks. Um, this is actually a lip brush. Why is this in here? I was using this for something, I think. I don't know. <laughs> I guess it's staying there. Um, this is my Aether Beauty Pure Diamond Dust which is in my deck of panning. So that's going to stay until I reach my goal. It looks like this. I love it. This is my Drunk Elephant Umber Tint, also in my deck of panning, but that one has a use up goal. So that's going to be around until it's finished. Same with my Physician's Formula BB Cream. The never ending product. <laughs> At least now it's under this window, but there's still probably like four or five uses in there. I don't even know anymore. I've been saying that for like three months and it still keeps going, so who knows. Um, then these are the two brow products I'm trying to use up the Essence Make Me Brow and the Milk Kush Clear Brow Gel. I use these together so. And actually, I think this clear brow gel is almost empty. It's very dry. Like, the brush is very dry. So, I don't know. This Tatcha Luminous Dewy Mist, Dewy Skin Mist, this is in my deck of panning. And I had said I would use it 10 times and then see if I could empty it. And it's kind of like down to here now. And I have used it 10 times. So I haven't decided yet if I'm going to roll it out or just try and use it up. So I guess stay tuned for my deck of panning video, which I have to film very soon. That came very fast. This Project Beauty Spray Set Go. <laughs> I'm trying to use the last bit up here. I've really started using this mostly to dampen my brushes like when I foil my eyeshadows or something like that um, because because there's not a lot left it's like not spraying out very well as like a face setting spray so yeah but I'm gonna try and finish that this is the Kaja Bento thing I was talking about I did reach my goal on this but I'm gonna keep it in here for when I film my deck panning update. But here's a spoiler, <laughs> that's what it's looking like. Um, after over, I think I'm at like 12 uses and I only meant to use it 10 times, but I actually really love it. And I've been using the blush in this palette too for like more natural makeup days because it's a very like, light shade and it's like you know subtle at least for me for a blush in the summer I feel like it's very subtle and this highlighter is also very subtle it's really nice but it's um I don't know just not as mm, like I don't like it more oh where did I put it <laughs> my um whatever it's called this the Aether Beauty, I like this one a lot better. It has like a lot more shine. Um, yeah, I think part of it is that the Kaja one is like a very dry formula, so it doesn't stick very well to my dry skin. What else is in here? This is like always living in here. My Tatcha the Pearl. 
Um, I kind of stopped using this because I felt like it wasn't working well with my Tarte Aqua Sealer that I'm trying to pan. Um, so I only use this now when I'm not going to wear concealer. So yeah, that's going to be around for a while. This NYX Glitter Glue also lives in this drawer. I like never use it because I forget about it. And I don't really use shadows that I feel like would require a glitter primer but I should try it and see if it makes a difference this Urban Decay uh, primer potion I use every time I do eyeshadow it's I would say it's like half empty um so and it's really old <laughs> so I'm sure it'll be in here for several years more this uh, Voluminous Base Lash Primer, I stopped using this because it was making the Maybelline Sky High Flake on me. So I stopped using it because I really love the Maybelline Sky High. Um, but I keep it in here because maybe I'll want to use it with another mascara. This, but that being said, this mascara the ABH Lash Brag. Yeah. This is a very like wet and voluminous mascara. So I don't feel like it needs a lash primer. So I don't use it with that either. <laughs> and then this is my waterproof mascara that's always in here. It's the Monsieur Big from Lancome. Then I have this e.l.f. Um, it's a makeup remover pen which I use like if I want to clean up any eye, like eyeliner that I never do, but it's there if I need it. And my Tarte Fake Awake Nude Liner that I put on my waterline most of the time. Then I have my Aveda Mineral Loose Powder. I'm gonna actually roll this out because I added a, um, I added a powder, I can't talk. <laughs> I added a powder category to my Tiny Decisions app because I have to rotate through my powders because I probably won't like most of them. So I need to see which ones I don't like. Same with this Becca Under Eye Brightening Setting Powder. I stopped using this because it didn't work with my Tarte concealer either. Actually, that Tarte concealer doesn't want to work with a lot of things because it's water-based, so it does not mesh well with, like, anything. <laughs> so I stopped using a lot of these products because I'm trying to use up that concealer. So I'm going to put this away also. Um, oh, and this. This is my new face razor, which I keep in here because there's a spot for it. So that'll stay. Then I just have my Odin's Eye mirror that I use when I film. Sephora makeup tape that I always keep meaning to use, but I never do my eyeshadow first, so yeah. My color switch, which I've been using a lot lately because I haven't washed my brushes. And my Beauty Blender Power Pocket whatever thing, which I use very seldomly because I don't use powder under my eyes because of the Tarte concealer, like I just said. Then um, I actually have a new sponge, although <laughs> it doesn't look new because it's stained already. I really don't like this. It's from Pure. It came in a boxy charm and I have three of them. So I'm gonna give the other two to somebody else. It's just very stiff and like, I don't know. I'm going to try to use it a few more times, and if I don't like it, I'll just get rid of it. This is a hip dot sponge for, like, concealer, but I never use it. Because I always just use the same sponge that I use on my face. Um, and then my Physician's Formula Sharpener, which I keep in there. And that's it. So, yeah, this drawer is mainly staying the same because of my panning projects with this. Yeah, so I think now is the fun part where I will use the Tiny Decisions app 
to randomly pull a product from every category. So I'll set you back up in front of my makeup bureau thing so you have something to look at. <laughs> and yeah, I'll see you then. So I just remembered I forgot to show my eyeshadow palettes. So this is a combination of like Shop My Stash and Pando's eyeshadows. So I'm going to be leaving in the Pando's eyeshadows palettes, which is my Violet Voss Essentials. It looks like this if you haven't seen it. I'm working on this shade Dusty Rose. Then I had this Patrick Ta Major Dimension palette, the first one. This is not in my pen, those eyeshadows, but I had brought it in my shot, my stash, because it was brand new. And I've only used it twice since, <laughs> but I'm gonna put it away because I also, oh my God, I almost dropped that. That would have been tragic. Because I also have the new one, the Rose, what is it called? Major Dimension 2. I thought this had a name. I guess not. So the second one that's more rosy toned. I meant to film a video of like a full face of Patrick Ta, which is why I had this out, but I still haven't filmed that video. <laughs> so I actually think I'm gonna keep this one um, in my little thing here, but it looks like this. I'm trying not to show you my reflection because <laughs> I have a towel on my head and yeah, it's not a good look. So yeah, this one, this looks beautiful. Yeah, I think this is really nice for this time of year. So I'm gonna keep this one in and it will encourage me to film that video. Then I had the Too Faced Born This Way Sunset Stripped because I wanted to film a video on this and that one I actually did get a chance to film. I'll, will I remember to link it below? Who knows? <laughs> if not, you can just search it on my channel. Um, yeah, I really liked this. Actually, this is another one I should probably keep in because it's summer theme. But I just have so many eyeshadow palettes to use. So I'm going to put this one back. Um, this one is in my pan, those eyeshadows. So it's staying the ABH Sultry. I'm working on the shade Dystopian. Um, yeah, it's a nice cool tone palette. Not really a summer palette. But like I said, it's in my shop. My, no, it's in my... And those eyeshadows. Same with this one from Makeup Forever. I still have to get a chance to try the other shades in this palette, but I've been working on this shade and I don't love it. So I might declutter this palette. I mentioned it in my Pando's eyeshadows update. So we'll see what happens. But I do want to meet my goal before I decide if I'm decluttering it or not. Then this is the new palette that I rolled in, the Barbarella palette from B Beauty London. This is probably not even gonna fit in the frame because it's a huge 20 pan. How do I do this? Yeah, I'm working on this shade, Kofi, and I really like it. It has a pink shift it's like a duochrome so yeah i was really excited to roll that in and i also still have my nikki tutorials palette because i'm working on the amsterdam shade which is <laughs> the bane of my existence but that's staying in until i meet my goal so i still have Do it like this. So one, two, three. I have room for three more palettes. And that's how I've decided I'm doing this. I just want 
to fill this thing because now that I only have that little container for my shot, my stash, I don't have a lot of room for palettes unless they're minis. So yeah, three palettes can go in there. And this, if you're wondering, is not part of my shot, my stash. It's just all the makeup that doesn't fit anywhere else. <laughs> and my rose quartz tower. So now we can do the rolling of the wheel. Or the spinning of the wheel. Okay, so here is my tiny decision app. And like I mentioned, I did add a powder category so that's the first category now and let's roll for a powder oh <laughs> okay my opv beauty powder i believe it's a translucent powder and it's in my new makeup drawer because i think it's my newest powder yeah so let me get that. So it's this um, OPV Beauty London Loose Setting Powder. Yeah, translucent. I got this in a boxy charm. It looks really nice. It has like the same packaging as the Laura Mercier, except with a gold lid. So I have no idea what this is like. I usually don't wear powder because of my dry skin <laughs> but I'll try it because one of my goals with my shot my stash is to try things that I haven't tried and see if I actually like them because if I don't I'll pass them on and not have them rotting away in my drawers so yeah it looks like this let's see what it's like now palettes so I think I'll roll for one and I'll choose the rest because, yeah, I think that's what's going to happen. Elf Cream and Sugar? No. I just used that. That was in my Shot My Stash, like, very recently. So, let's try something else. Oh, that's fun. My Vive palette, which I feel like could very could be a very good palette for summer. So let me get that. Actually, no. Let me roll. How many did I say? One, two, three. Yeah, because remember I still have all these palettes to work on. Okay, let's roll for another one just because it's fun. And then I'll pick one myself. Mini Norvina. Oh my god, that is perfect for summer too. Okay, good. So let me get those palettes. So here is the Vive palette. It's actually quite a big palette because the pens are huge. It looks like this. I am very excited, especially for like this quad here for a nice summery bronzy look. Yes, I'm very excited to use this more. I actually only used it that one time <laughs> in the video, in my Vive, trying Vive video. So yeah, I need to use this more. Let's put it in my container. Everything has to be in order so I can see what I'm working with. And then this is my ABH Norvina Volume 2. This is the only Norvina Mini that I have. And look how perfect this is for summer. I did use this already. And this is a very good orange eyeshadow. If you're wondering. But I think I'm going to have a lot of fun with this. So there's that one too. Okay, that, whatever. That's how... That's gonna look. So, next category is bronzer. I'm only gonna roll one because I have actually a lot of new bronzers. <laughs> oh, that's exciting because this is actually a face palette. I think I just got this in my last boxy charm 
or the one before maybe it's from complex culture so this same brand is that setting spray this will be the second time ever trying that brand so let me find where i put that <laughs> yeah i wasn't sure if i had put this away but it was still in my new makeup drawer. So this is what it looks like. It's called In The Moment Baked Highlighter and Bronzer Quad. Oh yeah, this is the one where I actually think I got a faulty product. <laughs> and I'll show you what I mean. This is the packaging. It actually feels very like luxe and nice. Like see that gold detail? And this is like heavy. It's like plastic. But look at this. Am I crazy or are these two top shades exactly the same? I'm confused. <laughs> because this is what the swatches look like. Like something happened. Because that's not what that looks like. These two look the same. I don't know. I The reason I'm not sure is because if I like really am nitpicky about it, this one does look a bit more gold in person. But it definitely doesn't look like that swatch, right? I don't know. If you guys have this product, if you also got it in a boxy charm, let me know what yours looks like. Because that's weird. But obviously I haven't used this yet. I did swatch it. As you could see, because I was like, are those the same shade? Um, yeah, so this is actually bronzer, two bronzers and two highlighters. So that's a fun thing to bring in for summer. Next category is blush. I like to have different options. Oh, Buxom Mykonos. Yay, another great summer blush. And I haven't used it yet. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to roll for three blushes. Because I just like to have a lot of variety with my blush. So let me do that. And then I'll get all of them at once. Natasha Denona Love Glow. No, that was just in my Shop My Stash. Like, not this one, but the one before. So even though I love that palette, I'm going to roll again. Oh, that's a good one. Tarte Achiote, I think is how you say it. I actually learned recently that is like um, a spice, I think. <laughs> I don't know. I could be wrong. Um, yeah, where is that? I think, is that here? I think that's this one. Yeah. So, okay, I'll show you that with the other, the Mykonos, but let's do another one. Because remember, I'm still going to pick manually. Patrick Toshi's Vibrant. This is, like, amazing. Okay. Let me get those out and I'll show you all of them at once. Okay, this is very exciting for me. So first of all, this is my Buxom Mykonos, never been touched. I don't even think I hauled this on my channel, but I actually found this and the Seychelles shade at Marshalls. So I got these for an amazing deal. Ooh, it smells like coconut too. But like how perfect for summer. Love it. Then this is Tarte Achiote. This is like a deeper one. But I still think it's going to be really nice for summer. Do you guys want swatches? I never swatch things. Oh. It's a little dry. This is actually one of the oldest blushes. If not the oldest <laughs> blush in my collection. Because when I first started watching makeup youtube and getting into makeup i bought one of those tart like custom kits and i got that actually at the same time as the tart aqua sealer 
that's how old it is. <laughs> so Tarte blushes are very hard pressed, so I'm not sure if it's dry or if that's just how it swatches and it picks up better on a brush, but that's the shade. Love it, a nice pink. And then this is Mykonos, which is a lot lighter and more like vibrant pink, but I love it. And this is the exciting part. So that Patrick Ta, She's Vibrant, it's actually a shade from my Patrick Ta blush palette, which as you can see is still in the box. <laughs> so I'm so excited to bring this out. And clearly, you know, the universe is telling me I have to film the Patrick Ta video now because I ha also have the Patrick Ta eyeshadow palette to use. So it's the same packaging as the first eyeshadow palette. And this is what it looks like. Oh, don't look at me. <laughs> so she's vibrant actually, which is that one? The middle one, oh my God, this one. How amazing for summer. Let me swatch it, I don't wanna ruin it. Oh my God, <laughs> I'm so excited. Look how beautiful. So that was the powder. Let me swatch the cream. Oh, my swatches are terrible. Okay, the cream is obviously more sheer. But that's what it looks like. And if you're not familiar with the Patrick Ta like cream and powder blush duos, you actually put the cream on after and it adds like dimension. So this is so exciting for me. And I can finally take this out of the box. Next category is highlighter. Becca Prosecco Pop. Okay. I feel like I did use that kind of recently, but I think summer is a good time to pull that out because it's a little like on the deeper side. So good one. Um, I still have that Tarte highlighter, so I'll just roll one more. Oh, Iconic London Drops. No, that's what I was just talking about before that I'm putting back. I feel like I always roll the same things. <laughs> okay, Aether Beauty. No, because that's in my deck of panning. Ooh, MAC Double Gleam, another product I haven't touched yet that I also found at Marshalls, actually. So, let me get that. So this is Becca Prosecco Pop. Oh, here it is. I really like this, actually. At first I was worried it was a bit too deep for me because Opal is a bit deep on me but this one has a good more peachy undertone so it actually works out and yeah i really like this for summer and then mac double gleam looks like this this is the um extra dimension skin finish formula and so a lot lighter i guess you'd say let me swatch this yeah that looks beautiful that's double gleam let me swatch prosecco pop too actually and this is prosecco pop i had actually <laughs> i had swatched them both but then something happened and i lost the clip um but yeah there is prosecco pop so Two really nice highlighters for summer. And then for concealer, so I still have the Tarte one. So I think I'll just roll one more. Oh, that's a good one because I have never used it and I'm not sure if I like it. The Pretty Vulgar Concealer. I don't know what it's called. And it actually might be too dark. For me at least under the eyes so i'll have to see but it's the undercover concealer in the shade little white lives 
I got this in a boxy charm a long time ago. <laughs> never used it because it just like never got pulled into a shot my stash before. So this is a good one to try out. Then for primer. Makeup Forever HD. Okay, that's like a little mini one, which I should just use up and get out of my collection. And it doesn't exist anymore. So let me pull another one just in case I should work on another one. Because I'm trying to get primers. Okay, I'm trying to get primers out of my collection because I have way too many. Nope, that's the one I just, you know, put back. The Glassy Skin. Okay, that's another mini, but I'm happy to use that one. The Farsali. I don't remember the name of it. Let me get both of those. Okay, actually, <laughs> I'll have to get those out later because I can't open my primer drawer right now because I have all my Cricut stuff in front of it. <laughs> oh, this room is a disaster. Okay, so I'll have to remember Farsali and Makeup Forever HD. Oh, lips are next. This is very exciting. So let me just recap for lips. I'm working on two lip products in my deck of panning. Actually, I met my goal on one of them, so I'm only working on one. So I can roll in like, let's say four, and then maybe I'll pick one or two myself. So this is my crazy lip wheel. YSL 70. I think that's the nude one. Yes, that's the nude shade. This is just a mini, actually. Um, I love this lipstick formula, so very happy to use this. Although, it looks really similar to the Tarte one. I'll have to swatch them side by side. Okay. No, so the Tarte one is on top. It's more like a matte formula, I'd say, and it's deeper. And then this is YSL number 70. It's more like sheer and shiny and more pink, I feel. So that's fine. So let's roll again. Orange Cutie. I think that's a ColourPop Hello Kitty lipstick. Orange Cutie. I think that's in my new makeup drawer. So let me just roll two more. Orange Cutie. Smashbox driver seat. I think that's the one that I had to throw out. If you guys saw my <laughs> my nude lip swatching videos, that was the one that was all dried up. Yeah, so no. I'll have to remove that later. Too Faced Queen B. Oh, yeah. Okay, <laughs> at first I was like, isn't that the one in that I just had in? But that was sellout. So Too Faced Queen B, Orange Cutie, NARS American Woman. No, that was a sample and I used it. I don't have that anymore either. <laughs> okay, I need to clearly update my stuff. Real Her Lady Love. Um, I think that's a really deep liquid lipstick. Okay, let me get those before I forget what they were. Okay, I was wrong. The Orange Cutie is actually from the Animal Crossing um, ColourPop collab. So it's actually a lip crayon, the Just a Tint. This is what it looks like. I haven't used it ever. That's really pretty for summer. It's the top one. I'm not sure why it's called orange. It doesn't really look orange, but I'm excited to use this. Too Faced Queen Bee 
is this mini guy, which is like a mauve. And I actually was just watching Emily and Max and she had to throw out hers because it was too dry, but mine looks okay. Um, that's not really a summer <laughs> shade, but I'll try it because I'm actually not even sure if I like this shade on me. It's like one of those grazy undertones, so I'll try it. And then this Real Her, I think I'm going to roll again, but I'll show you anyway. Um, this is the Matte Liquid Lipstick in Lady Love. This just looks too vampy. Yeah. No. I will never wear a shade like that in the summer. That's just who I am. <laughs> So I'm going to put that back, but hopefully I'll come back to this in the fall because that's a lovely fall shade and it feels really nice and creamy. But yeah, I'm going to roll again for that one. I don't really want to get another liquid lipstick. I just don't feel like I wear liquid lipsticks in the summer. So let's try again. Bobbi Brown Brocade? No. That is like an even deeper shade than this one. No. <laughs> Rimmel Trendsetter. Oh yes. Okay. That's a nude lipstick, so that's perfectly fine any time of year. And it should be right here. Yes. This is a lipstick I got from Influencer, and I really like it. It's just a really nice nude, easy to wear, and it's this one here. Okay, good. So my battery's gonna die, so I'll change it and then come back to continue. So I'm definitely, definitely gonna have to pull out some more summer shades later because those are all nudes pretty much <laughs> except for the orange cutie I guess which had a bit more color but yeah I need vibrant lip colors for summer so next category is setting spray mm, no I just used the iconic London in my last shot my stash Oh, I have been waiting to pull in this setting spray because it's brand new. Well, no, it's like, <laughs> it's years old, but it's still in the package because I never used it. It's actually right here. It looks like this. I've heard really good things about this, but it just got, it never got pulled in to a shot my stash before. So as you can see, it still has the plastic on and everything. I got this in a boxy charm. It's the In Beauty Power Up Dual Phase Setting Mist. It kind of looks like the Milk Power Grip and in that it's like a dual phase. I don't think it's meant to be the same because this is a, it says Set Makeup Energize. There goes all oh my mess. Um, <laughs> Set makeup, energize, and revive skin. Filters away dull, tired, and stressed out complexion. Glow, hydrate, energize. I think I'm really going to like this. And I feel like this is perfect for summer. So I'm very excited about that. Even though I'm working on two setting sprays already. But they're almost done. Um, next category is eyeliner. Makeup Forever IV. What is that? Is that... This is where... Oh, you can't see. <laughs> this is where I keep my eyeliners. Um, it's not... Oh, is it the pencil? Wait. Where do I keep those? Is it this? No, that's Earth. 
Makeup Forever Ivy. I'm not even sure what that is, but I'm assuming it's going to be like a green shade. Oh, okay, no. <laughs> I was so confused. Um, it's actually this purple one. Um, this is the Aqua Resist Color Pencil in Ivy, like I said. And I don't know why it's called Ivy, because it's purple. <laughs> Um, normally this would be more like a fall shade again, but I think it might be fun to wear this on the waterline with like a colorful eyeshadow look. So yeah, I'm not mad at that. I actually got this from Makeup Forever because I actually, <laughs> funny story, I used to be on their PR list because my cousin used to work at Makeup Forever. She doesn't work there anymore, so I think I'm allowed to talk about it. Although I was before, it just felt awkward. Um, but they kicked me off, <laughs> so. But yeah, I'm excited to use this. Um, should I roll another eyeliner? I like very rarely use eyeliner. So, I don't think so. I think that's fine. I don't have a lot. Like these are eyebrow pencils and eyeliners. So yeah, next category foundation exciting tart tinted hydrator oh okay that's a mini size but that's a perfect summer product should i roll another one hmm. no i might choose one <laughs> but that's going to be my random roll in so it's this here. It's actually the Tarte Maracuya Tinted Hydrator. And I have the shade Fairlight Neutral, which is the shade I normally get in Tarte. Um, I think I used this once. I think. But yeah, I'm excited to use this some more. And maybe... I don't think so. <laughs> I was going to say maybe I'll finish it. I don't know, because I'm still working on the Physician's Formula BB Cream, so we'll see. Then lashes. Lashaholic, no, those are the ones I just put away. Velour Effortless, okay, yeah. I think I had those in a shot my stash recently but since i don't really remember if i like them or not i'm okay with pulling those in so it's actually the ones in this kit and this is the lash glue i use anyway for like all my lashes so i'll just pull in this whole thing um lip liner we're almost done <laughs> if you're getting bored um lip liner that's the one i just put back no Smashbox Crimson. That is a red. Is it this one? Yes. I actually don't mind bringing this in because it's like a true red, which I do wear in the summer. So this can be fun to wear on its own, like on my whole, like all over the lips. You know what I mean? So that's a good one. I'll roll, I'll use that one, but then maybe I'll pick one to go with my nudes. And then the last category is brow product. Ooh, NYX Lift and Snatch. I'm excited because I love that. Um, I had just put it away because I'm trying to use up my Essence Make Me Brow, and I don't normally wear this plus a fiber brow gel, so yeah. But I have this in the shade Ash Brown, and I love it. If you're not familiar, it's a brow pen like this. Oh, and it's leaking. Oh my god. <laughs> B, I shouldn't have stored it upside down. But yeah, I'm excited about this. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in my everyday makeup drawer so that it's lying flat. So that was it for random picks. So let me take you around. 
It's probably going to be <laughs> very wobbly and messy, but yeah, let me do that. I thought we'd start over here in my very messy uh, primer slash foundation tinted moisturizer. Basically like any <laughs> kind of base product is in here. Um, and before I forget, I had meant to pull out this before. The Makeup Forever HD High Definition Primer. I don't think they make this anymore. If they do, it's been repackaged and maybe probably reformulated. But uh, I'm just going to try and use this up, I think. Although this kind of primer is not my favorite. It's like a smoothing primer, if I remember correctly. But we'll see. I think I can use it up. And the other one was this. <laughs> this tiny Farsali liquid glass. I actually really like this product and I was sad when I saw Farsali was like out of business, but then they came back. So <laughs> I don't know what the deal is with that. I, so I guess this like is something you can get again cause it was like one of their most popular products. So maybe I could finish this too, who knows? So that was the primers. So what am I doing right now? <laughs> okay, I guess I'm choosing, yes, another base product because I have the Tarte Tinted Hydrator. I hopefully have only a few uses left of my Physician's Formula BB Cream. So what else can I pull? I think it's going to have to be this. The Fenty. I'm not even in frame, am I? Fenty Ease Drop. Oh, I did... So I was correct before. I said blurring skin tint. Yes, that's what it is. I have the shade four and I've only used this once, but I loved it. And I would like to use it some more and compare it with the, the one I was just talking about before, the L'Oreal tinted serum, whatever, cause I feel like they're very similar. But yeah, this will be a great one for summer. I don't like to wear like heavy base products in the summer. I don't I think most people don't. <laughs> so that's that for foundation. Because I have and I have two concealers and I think that's plenty because I don't even use a lot of concealer. So that's it for this drawer. This next one is mini eyeshadow palettes and lashes, but I already picked my lashes. So let me see, is there anything in here? I'm looking at mm, this, but I mean, I already know this is a favorite and I feel like I pull it in every <laughs> summer shop my stash. So I think I, I'll pass on this one this time, but it looks like that if you're wondering. I love this palette. It's one of my like travel palettes too. Um, I'm looking at, okay, no. You know what I definitely need to pull in? Something from the Hello Kitty. So I see this one here, the Coco Cutie Quad, but if it's in this drawer, it's because I used it already and I still have parts of this collection in my nude makeup drawer, if you can believe that. Because this came out like, what, two years ago? <laughs> so let's save it for the new makeup drawer. But what else is in here? Do I want to pull anything? No, I do not. Because you know what? My ABH mini palette was right here. So technically I already pulled something from this drawer, but this is my mini palette drawer, if you were wondering. And these tart round ones, which are very summery, but I feel like I just had those in Shop My Stashes. So let's skip on, on those. Oh, 
This is another palette drawer, but I'm not gonna pull. Am I? I have room for one more palette. <laughs> uh, I do have this. But I pulled this, didn't I pull this in last summer, Shop My Stash? Oh, the Alamar Cosmetics. I can't open it with one hand. Oh my god. This is clearly meant for a summer palette. But I think I did have it in. Yeah. And I'm really set on the Hello Kitty ones now that I mentioned that. So let's skip this drawer too. This is my highlighter drawer. How many highlighters? I already have three highlighters and one in my deck of panning. So I'm not gonna pull anything. Oh, and <laughs> you could see my pajamas. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm not gonna pull anything else. Plus I have the highlighters in the complex culture quad. So that is plenty. Now the exciting new makeup drawer. It's actually a disaster and I'm kind of embarrassed about it. This isn't even all my new makeup, by the way. I have more in a bag because I meant to film videos testing new makeup, but I haven't had the chance. Oh my god. You know what? I need to use this. The Huda Beauty Color Block palette in blue-green. Because if I don't use this now, I will not use this till next year. Because it's totally a summer palette. It looks like that. Oh my god, it's very hard to open palettes with one hand. So it looks like this. Clearly, I need to pull this out. At least for a new makeup video. Other stuff in my new makeup drawer of disaster. I have so many things that I want to use. So, oh, I did say I wanted to pull more colorful lip products because this is where I have the rest of the Hello Kitty ones. This is what I thought the orange cutie shade came from, but no. Um, but I already have the Just a Tint, so I think that's good on the ColourPop. By the way, the Orange Cutie came from this, um, duo. The Fruit Roots duo. But I definitely need to use one of these other Hello Kitty quads because I love them. And I never reach for them because they're so summer specific. So this one is Cherry Sweet, this one is Pineapple Cake, and this one is Teeny Keeny. So let me open these and see which one is most different to like the other shadows I'm working on. Okay, so here is the orange one, the yellow, and the cherry. Um, I'm just thinking, I think it's gonna have to be the cherry one because these two look, like I there's shades in here that are in the, I mean, at least the yellow in the color block, but also the Norvina mini covers me for orange and yellow. <laughs> so let's go with the cherry. It's really cute. Yeah. That's a good one. Okay, that is not, that is actually one extra eyeshadow palette than I meant to pull in, but it's okay, cause they're minis. Um, yeah. So other things <laughs> in my new makeup drawer. Oh my God, it's crazy. It's just crazy. Oh, I got this, the Tarte Flush Cheek Stain 
in the shade chair. What is this? Is it is the shade flush? I'm confused. This would be amazing. How many blushes did I pull in? Three. But I have to use this in the summer. I'm doing it. <laughs> but it's not even open yet. Oh my god. I'll show you that at the end when I do like a overview. Because I just cannot do stuff with one hand. Oh, but I also got this. This, um, the new Benefit blushes, they came in minis, which I thought was a genius idea. And I wish all brands would do like their new stuff in full size and mini. Because I would always just get the mini. Because clearly, I do not need any more full size makeup. <laughs> but look at the color of this. If I can open it. Uh, this is in the shade Krista, if I didn't say. It's beautiful. I guess it's kind of similar to what I already pulled in, so... But it's just so nice and vibrant. So, I had that. Um, oh, but I also had the Freck Duo. The Cheek Slime and the Freckles. I might save this for a video because I have a really like summery, freckly look in mind. So I think I'll use that in a video and not like have it in my Shop Me stash. Oh, and then the one size cheek clapper in the shade Fat Ass. <laughs> I would love to pull this in too. Well, okay, clearly I just need to do a new makeup testing or like several because there's just so many fun things in here. I have things to do a drugstore video too. Um, yeah. This is intriguing for summer. I got this cab Cab Cosmetics Lip Oil Duo. One's lemon and one's lime. Like, that is so summery. I think I need to pull one of these. Even though I said I'm gonna, <laughs> I should pull, um, you know, colorful lips. And these are just lip oils, so they're obviously clear. But look at this, lemon and lime lip oil. And they smell like lemon and lime. Oh my gosh, should I pull both of these? I'm, this shop my stash is getting crazy. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I'm gonna pull out this whole thing for now and then we'll see you later. Um, oh, I also got this Too Faced Major Love. I got this when I went to the States Honestly, I thought I was going to do a whole video on my USA haul, but um, USA, <laughs> first of all, the prices have gone up and the conversion rate is not good. And I think you guys, if you're watching from the States, you guys seem to be having like the same supply issues as Canada. So honestly, I didn't buy a lot of things, but I did get this at Ulta um, because I think this is Ulta exclusive. I haven't seen this anywhere in Canada. I could be wrong. Um, but I got this for the greens as you can see. But no, no more eyeshadows. <laughs> I'm getting distracted. Um, I'm just seeing if there's anything else in here that's like specifically for summer that I'll regret not pulling in but I think I'm good this last drawer is more eyeshadow palettes but I have too many eyeshadow palettes <laughs> I already pulled in too many so I'm gonna skip this drawer also okay so what I like to do in this section and please if I happen to film this mess and don't mention it, I'll just tell you now. This is all my Cricut stuff. It's a long story, but 
just, I know it's a mess, just don't look at it. Um, but coming back over here, I usually, what I do in this section is I pull one product from every, like, little, you know, like one thing from here, one thing from this, just so I make sure I'm rotating stuff. So I'll do that. So this thing, like I said before, has eyeliners and brow products, which I don't need to pull any more of. But it also has lip products. Um, lip gloss. These things. The Physician's Formula Healthy Lip. I think I should pull this in. Because... That's a summer color. Although I think these are discontinued. And this is the one that the sticker fell off so I don't even know what shade it was. <laughs> but should I do it? I don't know. I feel like I already know I like those. And it was recently in a pro not a project, but a shop my stash. I also have these, the Tarte Maracuya. Juicy Lips, the original ones, and I never reach for these because in my brain I'm like those are a holiday product because they came in a holiday set and they all have holiday names like this is called Mary Martini and like Buttered Rum, but I don't know. <laughs> I also know that I love those. And then these are setting sprays. I think I'm good with this little container. Um, over here, this is just my Half Magic setting spray. I literally don't have any more room for setting sprays, so it's just on the desk here, which is great. But let's see in this little this is lip products. Well, it's just my Fenty lip products, brows, bronzers, setting sprays, blush. And I already have all too much of that stuff. I think we're going to skip this section too. I just don't want to like overwhelm myself with products. So let's come down to my lips because I definitely need more lip products. So I have this, these are lipsticks, obviously. Nothing is super summery other than my Tarte um, color splash with the turtle, but this is another nude. And I just have too many, too many nudes, see? So no, not this time. And then in here, these are all my lip glosses. How am I going to show this to you? That's a Dior sample. These are lip glosses. I actually don't have any lip glosses. So I think I should pull a lip gloss. I do love my NARS Orgasm lip gloss. But I need something colorful. Mm, no. Ooh. Now this drawer is exciting. <laughs> uh, I have this Marc Jacobs. I think. Oh god. Okay. I think I'm gonna choose this Marc Jacobs Forbidden Fruit. Yes, this is summery. So is this, but it's getting crazy now. This is the Lancome Juicy Shaker, I think they were called. Something like that in the shade Wonder Melon. Oh, that's nice too. Okay, both of these. I also really love this, but I had it in my last summer shot my stash, the Sephora Jelly Melt. I love this. It's like a lip stain and a gloss in one. Here I have more lip gloss. 
<laughs> oh dear. Let me like calm down because I haven't filmed my deck of panning update yet. And what if I pull a lip product? But over here I have more lip products. I have more lip products in here. Then I have blush. We're gonna skip the blush. I think I'm good. But I have something back here. I have um, like single eyeshadows. I could pull some of those. Okay, so these are lip balms, so we can skip that. But in here, I have single shadows, like sparkly things. Um, but you know what? I think I'm good because a lot of these are like vampy, like cranberry shades. The only one I'm thinking for summer would be this, but I just had this and I shot my stash. The um, sparkling foiled pigment from Touch and Soul. This is beautiful. It's the shade Sun Aurora, but no, I already know I love it, so, and I can't get it back in. This looks fun though. This Makeup Forever Star Powder. I don't know if this has a shade, but it's like a nice bronzy. Let's put it aside for now. These are my ColourPop. Um, glitterly obsessed. My new half magic things. A very old Urban Decay shadow. What else? Color Pop Animal Crossing Balloon Pop. This is Balloon Pop. It came broken. Mm, I think I'd prefer the Makeup Forever one. It's more summery in my mind. So I'll put this one back. Then in here, I have more single shadows, but like liquid ones, like toppers and stuff. This is my new house labs. I just wore this in like three videos because I batch filmed. So you've seen that already. Um, then these like glittery things. I honestly should pull one of those. This might be a better angle. I should definitely pull one of those because I never use them. These um, Touch and Soul Metalist Liquid Foil and Glitter Shadow Duos. I think this one is calling me. This like coppery one. This is... Um, these have names. Margaret, number one. Because if anything, I can use this like on top of other shadows too. So it could be like an added product, you know? I think that's good for this little container. I really like this too, but this is just too much. This is the Tarte Sea Glass in Sweet Life. Love this. And then I have single powder shadows and my Kaja trios. But this is just getting out of hand. This is too much eyeshadow, so I think I'll skip this drawer. Although this is really pretty. This Ace Beauté Iced Latte. I mean, so summery. And this one I had in a Shop My Stash recently. The Cotton Candy. These are like the ColourPop Super Shocks. And this would be nice too, but I'm, I have too much orange eyeshadow now. The Kaja Bento in Poppy Champagne. That's the top shade. I don't know why I'm showing this to you because it's very hard to open. And this one, pretty. That's, that's enough. I didn't look in my face palette drawer. So technically I already pulled it I already pulled in a face palette because of the complex culture one. But let's just look at this drawer because it's one of my favorites. Well, ignore this like extra lip product tray. Let's move that. Um, but here's my face palettes. 
so pretty. This is my new Fenty Sunstalker, but I already pulled a bronzer palette. This is really pretty too, the Aether Beauty Crystal Charged Cheek Palette. I just feel like this is just too much. It's getting too much. Although I should really use this Sephora Pro palette. I think I'm good. I think I just wanted to look at this drawer. Okay, so just to recap, this is not where I'm gonna keep my makeup, but it's too much of a mess um, where I normally keep it on my yellow bureau thing. So I have my Tarte concealer still around, my Tarte flush cheek stain. I said I would show this to you, so let me open it. I took the plastic off. It looks like this. Look how pretty. So yeah, you can roll this up. Like you push it from the bottom, which is weird because then you can't push it back down unless you touch the top of it. So that's a bit annoying to me, but I'm excited to use this for summer looks. Then I have my Fenty Ease Drop, my Buxom Mykonos blush, my Tarte Achiote blush, my Hello Kitty Cherry Sweet Quad, my In Beauty Setting Spray, this Tarte highlighter that I'm still deciding if I want to keep, my MAC Double Gleam. Yeah, there's like no room to move in this thing. <laughs> my Becca Prosecco Pop. Patrick Ta Blush Trio, Complex Culture Bronzer and Highlighter Quad, my Velour Lashes, I don't, they don't fit in the box, so we'll see where I put that, my Pretty Vulgar Concealer, and here I put my Tarte Tinted Hydrator, the two mini primers that I'm going to work on, the Makeup Forever and the Farsali. This Touch and Soul glitter foil thing. I put back the Makeup Forever powder because I just don't think like I need both of them. And I'd rather get use out of this one because it's like a liquid and it's gonna expire soon if it hasn't already. <laughs> then my Makeup Forever Aqua Resist Eyeliner. Then this is my little cup of lip products. The YSL one, the two glosses I just pulled. I have one lip liner and it's red, so I think I'm gonna use that as a all over lip color. And then my just a tint and my nude lipstick from Rimmel. And this that I'm not sure if I'm gonna like, the Too Faced Melted Matte in Queen Bee. And then, did I change my everyday makeup drawer? Oh, I just put the Tarte lipstick in here because it's in my deck of panning. And I put the Cab lip oils here because they didn't fit anywhere else. <laughs> and the OPV Beauty Powder. Um, and then we'll see what happens. And the NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Pencil. But that's that. So I think this was long enough and now I have to put back all of the things that I um, had in the previous one and rearrange a bunch of stuff because I'm running out of room. But anyway, I hope you like this video. Um, let me know if you like this format. I don't think last time that I went and showed you every drawer. I think I just pulled things randomly. So if you like this better, let me know. It does take longer, but yeah. I think you guys don't mind long Shop My Stash videos. So yeah, if you like this video, give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.